Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to look at how to properly set up a Polygon material in Unity's new node system. Before we get started, let's take a look at the material that we'll be using today. It's this one, Wood Flooring 044. Um, I'll include a link to it below. I already have it downloaded and saved. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's head over to Unity. Now, normally I would uh, already have the application loaded and whatnot, but because the node system only works within uh, a certain mode uh, of Unity currently, um, I'm going to show you uh, how to get that set up to make sure that you can follow along. So from the uh, startup screen here under projects, click new. I'll call this uh, tutorial project. And then you have these templates. And what we want is the lightweight render pipeline. Yeah. Um, but it's the only one that currently has the node system built in. If you choose any of the other options, you won't see the same things that I'm seeing. Okay. So with that done, let's just hit create project and then uh, Unity will load up. Okay. So once uh, Unity's finally loaded up, um, this is what you'll see. It's kind of like a little test scene that they uh, give you. And we, we're actually going to keep this because it's already got all the reflection stuff and the lighting and everything else. Um, so what we'll do is use this nice floor surface um, to apply our material to. Okay. So let's go over to project and I'll, we've already got a bunch of folders here. But I'm going to create a new one called, in fact I'm going to materials and then within that I'm going to create a folder called textures. Okay. So let's load up uh, our textures for a starter. This is all the files that come with wood flooring 044. And I'm going to grab the color, uh, gloss, and normal maps. Now, we're not going to bring in the reflection map because Unity uses a, a metalness workflow. Um, so it's kind of difficult to use a reflection map in that. Uh, which is essentially like a, a specular map. So we don't need that. And I'm not going to use displacement because that's a tutorial for another day. Um, so let's drag these three. Yeah, just want those three. Thank you. Into our textures folder. And then Unity will import them. It doesn't seem to be playing nice, does it? Okay, I'll do it manually. There we go, so I've dragged those three textures in and now what I want to do is click on each one, go to the inspector and make sure they're set up uh, how we need them to be. So uh, the texture type is default for color and the sRGB color texture is selected, which is exactly what we want for color. Okay, for the gloss map, we want to turn off sRGB, but we can leave everything else as it is. And for the wood flooring, I'm gonna hit apply. <laughs> and for the wood flooring, uh, normals, we want to change the type to a normal map so it knows that it contains uh, normal information. Good. Right, we have our textures. I'll supply that as well. So I'm going to jump back to my materials folder, right mouse button, go create, and then shader, yes, and then PBR graph. This will allow us to create our new material um, within the node editor. So I'll call this wood flooring. Good. Now if I double click on that, it will open up this node editor, which if you've not played around with it before, it'll be the first time you're seeing it. And it's a, it's a pretty good node editor. It's very similar to um, what you'd see in, in many other applications. And it's, it's about time Unity had one. So it's good to, so, to see it finally there. So let's jump over to our textures folder again and drag in our textures, okay? I'll zoom out a little. So that's going to be our color texture. That's our gloss map. And that's our normal map. Which doesn't seem to want to come in for some reason. I think if I remember correctly, actually, um, when you have a normal map within this system, you do need to leave it on default. Sorry, I apologize for that. So leave it on default and turn off the sRGB. I'm not quite sure why it's done that way, but uh, yeah. Now it will drag in just fine. Good. Um, what I'm going to do now is add in a... Now, I don't know if you noticed what I did there. I dragged out from a particular node. If you do that, it will give you a choice of nodes that will only work 
with that particular input which is really handy so I'm dragging out the UV input like so and then I'm going to go to UV and bring in a tiling and offset node and what that will allow us to do I'm now going to connect it to the other UV inputs of the texture or the material I should say uh, it will allow us to uh, affect scaling yeah so when I apply this to the floor I'll be able to adjust the scaling um, to suit which is good so now what we need to do is start connecting these textures up to the shader itself so the color texture I'm going to grab the RGBA output and feed it into the albedo input like so so next I'll grab the uh, output from the normal and feed that straight into the normal input like so so what's left now is to feed in our gloss input and where we actually put that is directly into smoothness yeah I know the different terms but they basically mean the same thing uh, gloss and smoothness uh, are, are the same um, and that's literally it. just plugging in those three textures will give us our base material so let's close this down it will ask us to save and then it's just a matter of taking the material and dragging it onto our uh, our surface here so there's uh, three materials assigned to it and it's that bottom one that gray kind of one that we want to replace with our new wooden material and there you go done material in place and looking nice the reflections look good yeah it's working good and um, what you can obviously do at this point is go back into it and adjust the, the uh, scaling from here if you wanted to and then when you hit save it will update on there you can see the scaling's changed now uh, I think that looked just fine at about 1.5 if I remember correctly that seemed to fit the, uh, the little test scene nicely yeah yeah, that's good. So in the next video, we'll be covering surface imperfections and adding to this node group a little. Um, but for just setting up a basic material, that's, uh, that's all you need to know. So in summary, we've looked at how to download a material from polygon.com and bring it into Unity uh, and then make use of it uh, using Unity's new material node system.